Now this is the air cooler I'm going to put in and here is the actual device. It's got ball bearing low noise fan which I already have on my case so I don't really need that. It's got of course this radiator sealed system says no maintenance it comes with the paste already on there now to further improve uh, my sound characteristics I got these ultrasonic acoustic panels I got these at Menards I'm sure you could get something similar in any particular building store now this is what my system is running here's my motherboard FM2 a 105800 Trinity processor. Okay, this is the uh, basic system we have here. Uh, inside, you'll see, uh, is my AMD A10 stock fan, which I think is the culprit of most of the noise. It's dropped to about 48. Got the motherboard out, and uh, I've got this pre assembled and uh, you can see that the holes are going to they're going to fit in just fine. Okay, I've now it cleaned off the old CPU paste and uh, you can see the bracket fits perfectly in for this FM2 build. All right. So, I have placed the acoustic insulation in the case. I've got all the insulation in, which is what took a lot of time. I have uh, mounted the radiator on my particular unit. Of course, fits at the back, and the water pipes go to the front. It's a sealed unit, maintenance free. Now, the screws go from the back of the case here, they extend through the fan, and then they uh, grab the cooler. Uh, it came with some washers. They, I don't know where they're supposed to go. When I tried to use the washers in the back of the case, uh, the, the screws wouldn't reach. Uh, all right, now I've finished all my insulation. <clears throat> I've installed my hard drives. I uh, put some baffles of insulation between the hard drives with plenty of room for some air circulation. Uh, I've left some room between the motherboard and the insulation. Uh, there's the CPU. I've, okay, now I've taken off the cover of the CPU cooler and you can see there's these little teeth all around the side of it and they correspond with teeth here on the ring. It here goes down toward the motherboard. So you just put that on and you put it in between the teeth and then you turn it. Now I only have one hand because I'm holding the camera so I'm not but anyway that's what you do. Okay I went to put the CPU cooler on and one screw just screwed and screwed and screwed. I want you to see how the retaining screw came out of its mooring so it just spun and spun and spun. Take care of all the insulation in which I'm in retrospect, not sure it's going to make that much difference. I've uh, attached the CPU cooler. I had to take the motherboard completely loose again and reseat that screw. There is the uh, radiator, fan in between, screws with no washers coming in from back. Okay, here we are with the cover off. Let's see what we get. Okay, now I'm done with my install, and we're going to look at the ambient sound when I'm not talking and the heater's not on. It's 38, peaking out at 40. Here's the sound from right in back of the machine. We've got some sound from the Antec fan. Um, that's the water cooler fan and the case fan and then 
we've got some sound from up here. I thought about replacing the power supply, but I don't know. So we got 42. I'm the sound of the previous CPU fan was rather high pitched and annoying. The sound that we have here is much lower pitch and even though I can still hear it, it's hard to even notice it. That's it. Uh, job well worth it. Definitely helps my uh, Trinity a10 5800K processor, no problem with the water cooler fitting into my board.